Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to activate e-invoice in Tally Prime in 2024. So today we're exploring the process of activating e-invoicing in Tally Prime, enabling you to comply with electronic invoicing regulations and streamline your invoicing process. So stick around as I guide you through the steps by step process of activating e-invoicing in Tally Prime in 2024. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you will have to go and download Tally Prime if it's not downloaded already in your PC. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, you basically just go to this URL section and type Tally Prime and hit the enter button. This should normally take you to the home screen or main screen of Tally Prime right away. If you have, uh, of course, make sure to click on download in here, then you'll be taken there. So here, of course, if you click in here, you'll be taken now to the home screen actually. And of course, if you have an account, of course, you can always take a free demo if you want to. And you'll be able to get it once you fill up your informations in here. But if you want to buy a license, which what you will need, of course, to use the Sally Prime, click on buy now and just choose or select just the Tally Prime and select buy the silver license if you want to use it for just one single PC. And if you want to use it for multiple ones, buy the gold one. Once you buy it, you'll have then to click on download and download the Tally Prime. Make sure to download it and follow the on screen instructions to install it into your PC. Once it's installed, you will have to go and open Tally Prime in your PC right away. Of course, before even activating the e-invoicing in uh, Tally Prime, it's essential to understand the regulatory requirements applicable to your business jurisdiction. So make sure to familiarize yourself with the e-invoice regulation to ensure the compliance. And once you open your Tally Prime, you will find yourself here. So make sure to activate your new license if you just buy it, reactivate the existing license if you have it, and use the license on network if you have one on network. For me, I'll just go and continue in educational mode because I don't have a license at the moment, and this educational mode lack a lot of features. So if you don't have a company yet, you can simply go here and click on company, click on connect. You can connect to it, but as you can see, educational mode you cannot. So you can simply go and create a new one. I just want to test things on it. Start by filling up your company name, mailing name of the company, the address of the company, the state where it's located, the country also where it's located, the PIN code, the phone of it, telephone, mobile, tax, or fax, sorry, and the email of the company, the website of it, the financial year beginning from, from, and the books beginning from. So the dates of that, and then the base currency symbol, and finally the format name. Once you finish, click on enter and click on yes here on accept. But for me, I'll just go out and quit because I already have a test company in here. Now, as we said, ensure that you first of all you're using the last version of Tally Prime that includes support for e invoicing. If necessary, update your Tally Prime software to the last version. You can always go here and click on help and make sure to click on upgrade to look for the last feature. Course, you can even go and access the supports and a lot of other stuff. So navigate now to configuration model, which I don't have here in educational mode, so I have to tell you the steps verbally. But for you, if you have your license, you'll be able to have or you'll have the configuration model within Tally Prime, and you'll have to look for the option related to e invoice and settings or GSC configuration. If you didn't find anything, you can use this go to which will help you go to specific stuff. As example, you can simply type the name in here and you'll go to it right away. So you will find, of course, GSC configuration or invoice and settings. Just go and access these settings to configure the e-invoice in Intel Prime. Within the e-invoice and settings, you are likely need to enter your GSTIN details and other relevant information required for e-invoicing compliance. Ensure accuracy in entering these details. Once the necessary details are entered, 
you will have to look for an option to enable the e-invoicing within the settings. This option might be labeled as activate the e-invoicing or similar enable e-invoicing to activate the feature in Tally Prime. After enabling the e-invoice, take a moment to verify the settings and ensure that they align with your business requirements and regulators' obligations. Make any necessary adjustments as needed. And once you're satisfied with the e-invoice settings, you will have to save the changes to apply them in Tally Prime, and this will activate the e-invoice functionality for your e-invoicing processes. Of course, you can or to test or to ensure that e-invoicing is working correctly, you will have to create a test invoice in Tally Prime and generate an e-invoice and verify that the e-invoice is generated accurately and complies with the regulatory of course standards for how to create an invoice this is a thing that you can do it in, in here so you can go for example to vouchers and create your e-invoice example or invoice not the invoice and yeah so other than that if you have like the license you'll be able to as Another option, you can simply go and press the F11 key. This will set enable the goods and service, which is the S uh, G S T to yes. And of course, as you can see in here, so you'll be able to maintain an account, enable bill wise entry, maintain an inventory, integrate that. So make sure everything on is on yes to have access. To that and the GSC details screen opens, sets the option e invoicing applicable to yes. As you can see, I don't have it here. Why? Because, like, if I click here and see more features and see all features, yes. And let's just look as an example for e invoice. As you can see, there is no e invoice in here. Why? Because I don't, as I said before, I don't have all the features because I'm not on a license. So make sure to set the e-invoice on yes, if you have it. And then uh, the related options for e-invoice will now be visible. So you can click on control A to save the details, of course, before even quitting like me. And you'll be able to start doing what I said before verbally. So there you have it. You successfully learned how to activate the e-invoice in Tally Prime in 2024, enabling you to comply with electronics invoicing regulation and streamline your invoicing processes. So if you have any question or there is a specific topic that you would like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section and I'll try to do it as soon as possible. Of course, uh, make sure if you have any other question than that, you can don't hesitate to explore the Sally Prime support resources or reach out to their customer support team. So happy invoicing and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.